my top favorite boys love manga of 2021 is not going to surprise you if you've paid any attention to my twitter feed website or podcast it is Ryo Sumiyoshi's uh, Mad K, which is published in English by Sublime, uh, with two volumes out so far, and I love it because it's about demons and cannibalism. So if you missed my Tokyo Ghoul phase, which has not actually ended, I'm just taking a break from being very strange about that one. Uh, Mad K is a series that starts with Makoto, Makoto um, summoning a demon named Jay. He summons Jay because he wants to experience a particular pleasure that is denied to him um, without him becoming a serial killer. He wants to eat a bitch. He does. Uh, so the first quarter of maybe quarter to third of Mad K volume one is Makoto um, enacting that fantasy. He eats Jay like literally from the toes to the waist and then kind of decides like to go to hell with him. And eroticism aside because it is actually a very incredible book i mean i think that it is truly a just brilliant work of taboo sexuality and desire it's also a political uh narrative it's a political power climbing narrative where makoto in his quest to dethrone jay uh, and demons in this world the more powerful they get the less of their name you can say which is why a lot of these more powerful demons you can only say the letter of their name so there will be a point in this still serialized manga where makoto becomes m and no one will be able to say the rest of his name because he is top of the heap um so it's it's incredible because even though makoto asked for this like he literally was like take me to hell make me your bitch um he develops this like fear and resentment and anger towards Jay that leads, even with the complicated feelings of love and lust, to Makoto wanting to destroy Jay. And the art is beautiful. Um, there's literally some thrussy action, you know, thrussy action, throat pathy. <laughs> and I love it. I recommend it often. I gave away a copy of the first two volumes digitally last month. No. October for my birthday. I'll probably give away the third volume whenever it comes out. It's being serialized in Kana. Um, I think it's one of the best things I've read. I think I, I think this is the best thing ever. It's beautifully uh, illustrated. The characters are interesting, and it's it's it is that dark queer art. I don't know anything about Ryo Sumiyoshi to say anything about the creator as a person but it is still queer art um a uh, creator intent you know whatever um it is that dark upsetting like what am i reading why does it hurt can i have some more please content and i love it i i talk about it often um when I was into Tokyo Ghoul, I spoke about that a lot. Like in grad school, I would constantly bring up Tokyo Ghoul. And if I had access to Mad K back when I was in um, back when I was in grad school, I would probably have been really obsessed with it. Um, I think that if you like gore, body horror, violence, um, this is a series that will appeal to you deeply um these are things i like i love um concerning characterization i love violence i love relatively tasteful body horror i love non-tasteful body horror too but tasteful is nice too um the characters are really cool i want to see what happens next i don't know when sublime will get the next volume out but i will be here with fucking bells on bitch